And good morning. It is uh, 14 minutes after 9 o'clock, and the health council back with us because we're, we're a week away. <laughs> we're a week away from, uh, from the big uh, health expo, which is coming up here on the 6th of uh, August mm-hmm. uh, at all of it. Every single, well, 99.9% of it is right there at the Roswell Convention and Civic Center. Mm-hmm. If you get out early to run with the Boys and Girls Club, you, you do go. Yeah. You do drift a little bit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come back. Yeah. But um, we're at the point now where, where, where it's just everyone mark it on your calendars. Mm-hmm. We want to make sure you come out to the event on the 6th. Um, I mean, our sponsors are set. Our, our, vendors. our vendors, clients are mm-hmm. set. The event set. They got. I mean, they got to go in and move into the space and do all that, which <laughs> they'll do probably the fifth or so. Oh yeah. Uh, but but other than that, we're just mm-hmm. waiting for the event to happen now, right? Yep. We're trying to get people to sign up early for the run and for uh, mammograms. Yes. Um, not at the same time. No. I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the mammograms start after the run. I know it's you a. Go do the run and then I know you it's get a, a mammogram. I know it's a mobile <laughs> mammogram <laughs> trailer, but oh, it's not no. that mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Just want to Just want to kill that. But um, but let's talk about the fun run. Uh, give folks a little bit of details about that. There's still time to sign up. Definitely still time to sign up. There's no guarantee on your shirt size at this point. Yeah. Because we got to get that order in. Um, but beyond that, like seriously, sign up. You can sign up either on Facebook mm-hmm. through the Boys and Girls Club or on our website. And so. every dime that you for the fun run. So when you pay your registration fee, all of that goes into the programs mm-hmm. and money raised for Boys and Girls Club. Yes. So so when you're signing up to be in the fun run and you're wearing your best '80s costume and doing your <laughs> yeah. run thing. Um, all you're supporting Boys and Girls Club here and getting ready, helping them for the fall programs, oh, and yeah. making sure all that stuff. So, yeah. mm-hmm. and here's the beauty of it, right? Is it's a fun run. I want right. to stress that part. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's no. You don't have to be serious about this. You don't have to run. Mm-hmm. You can, like just have fun. Just mm-hmm. participate. Exactly. Come out. Be yeah. active. That's yes. the thing. Yeah. Is we yes. want to encourage people to be active and be physical. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of us aren't aren't built to be just coming out and, sh- and running marathons. That's just, mm-hmm. you know, we, we, we tend to not treat ourselves <laughs> that way. No. But, um, you know, this is, you can come out, you know, it's 5K of, you know, you could mm-hmm. propel yourself. Mm-hmm. As long as it's human powered, I think yeah. that would be the only rule. You can't, no motors, that's that's mm-hmm. completely cheating. But if you're on a bike or a skateboard or a, one of the, no, because those are motored. So I was going to say one of our new scooters downtown, mm, but nope. those are motored. <laughs> cheater, cheater, pumpkin, you can't do that. <laughs> but rollerblades mm-hmm. or skates or, or uh, you know, whatever you use to propel yourself, your feet. Yeah, if our you can... last fun run, we had people on roller skates, yeah. on scooters, bikes, yeah, and then we had ADC. strollers. As long as it's human propelled, mm-hmm. that's right. Because I know if I don't sit, if I just if I say self propelled, someone's going to get ingenuitive and have like a chariot of dogs yeah. moving them around. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> well, it might be fun to see. It would be fun to see, but it's just for your exercise, not your dog. Right. <laughs> but if you can make that '80s themed, I'd take a look. If you could get an 80s themed chariot, something or another going That'd be on. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know what? I got it. <laughs> I don't know. I got it. <laughs> Back to the future. The I Western one. Know. I love it. You put that the DeLorean right. and you get a mm-hmm. sleam of horses trying to get it up to 88 miles an hour. Yeah. On train yep. Tra- <laughs> yeah. Yep. There's there you your go. 80s theme. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but it is an 80s theme for this. Yes. We want to encourage and, uh, and, 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 and hope everyone comes out dressed in their favorite. 80s themed mm-hmm. genre or whatever just yep. whether you want to go generic and go with like uh you know jams and or uh depending on the era of 80s because i mean by mm-hmm. the time 80 what you're wearing in 1980 versus 89 was a little different oh, you know, yeah. it was a little more <laughs> bell bottomy 70 ish at the beginning but by 89 and going into the 90s we were Wearing oh, sunny yeah. fluorescent colors and <laughs> jams and culottes and Ooh, right. neon, mm-hmm. what have yous, and all Hammer that hands. stuff. So yeah, <laughs> if you want to look, so but so I, I mean, you could either go your flash dance route with the leg warmers and the tights and, mm-hmm. and keep dumping water in yourself. That might be a good <laughs> idea. Or uh, go go, uh, you know, pick your favorite TV show or cartoon or or whatever you love the mm-hmm. most from the '80s. And even if you're not living in the '80s or lived to the '80s, you know. I'm sure you got some family members that can help you. Google. <laughs> well, I was going to say, yeah, Google, you could just Google 80s, and they'll give you a plethora of 
options mm-hmm. to choose from. It's like when when we were kids, like they were all into fifty stuff and stuff because that was kind of our parents' room. Right. Now it's now we're all you know adults or eighties kids, so we're all nostalgic about <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> <Right. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but but please sign up for the run, mm-hmm. come participate, and then right afterwards. Make your way on over to mm-hmm. the uh, convention center. Well, actually, you'll be there already because that's yeah. kind of where the run goes. Yeah. Make your way inside, cool mm-hmm. off a little bit, and uh, check out many of the vendor booths. Now, the other thing we you need to pre-register for if you want to sign up for it is the the mammograms. They're going to have the mobile mm-hmm. mammogram uh, trailer or whatever that uh, bus or whatever it is that comes in and you can get your your mammograms taken Mm -hmm. care of. Yeah, especially if you have insurance, it's easier to sign up, and then you have a designated appointment time. Okay. They do walk-ins for first-come, first-serve type thing, and they're going to be there a little longer. So they're going to be there from 8 to 5. Oh, good. So they'll be there all day. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to do an all-day thing there. and. So if you want the fun stuff, you got to get scheduled before noon. But if you're Mm -hmm. you're there about all business, you can go till 5. Yeah, and if you're needing to have your mammogram paid for, by the funding that we got from United Way, um, it is a first come first serve. So you're okay. best off getting there earlier. Okay, so so be there uh, before eight uh, in in line to get registered there. Like I said, there'll be people. Like everything's kind of getting underway at eight, but there'll mm-hmm. be people running around setting up, like literally running around during yeah. the fun yeah. run. <laughs> 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 and, and out there, so you can mm-hmm. talk to them about getting registered and getting up to date on all that, mm-hmm. too. Um, is there going to be some offering, um, some of the vendors offering, like your glucose testing and all that kind of stuff? Or, yeah, yeah. Uh, blood, blood sugars and uh, lab work type things. Um, mm-hmm. Remember, if you do sign up or wish to do those things fast before you come, mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, it's a waste of time. It's yeah, just, that's yeah. why we start early in the morning yeah. is for those type of screens. So if you wanted to do some of those, make sure you do your homework and, and, and fast. And mm-hmm. usually the, uh, you know, each doctor is a little different, but usually mm-hmm. it's no eating or drinking after midnight is kind of the um, the, the standard fare on yeah. that stuff. So, But either way, that those will be available. And, of course, if you're looking for health care providers, if you're looking mm-hmm. um, for back-to-school information or free giveaways and mm-hmm. things, all of that will be a part of uh, this year's uh, health fair like it was back before COVID and yeah, everything Yeah, we're going to be giving away over 250 backpacks, and those are also a first-come, first-serve, and you have to have your kid there. Yes, kid must be present to clean. Ten kids at home. Well, okay, go home and get your ten kids and bring them. <laughs> and the backpacks do have basic school supplies. Yeah, they got the stuff they need to, to get them started mm-hmm. here when they go back to school in a couple Absolutely. weeks. Mm-hmm. In a couple of weeks, hard to believe, but yeah. Well, by that point, Roswell schools have been already started. Yeah, so that's true. The expo comes around, there already be a couple days in. My so. well, yeah, my wife is already back working and setting up classroom and. Mm-hmm. Doing all the things that teachers do when they get ready yeah. for school in the, in the fall here. So, yeah. But um, but please, uh, August sixth, not mm-hmm. this Saturday, but next yep. Saturday. Yes. Uh, everything gets underway at eight. Well, really earlier with the fun run at, at seven. But uh, mm-hmm. but what time do they need to meet for uh, registration? Six thirty is starting registration. Okay, so beginning at six thirty. If you haven't, uh, well, if you you register early, but then you get there b- between six thirty and seven, get your number and get all the t-shirt if you get you know you get your shirts and yeah. for those that have those mm-hmm. coming and all that you'll get that out now um and then your last minute tucks and sewing or whatever you gotta do in your costume there <laughs> to get it ready for the run yeah you know and uh, good news is we had a lot of spandex in the 80s oh, Lord. so <laughs> knock yourself out just saying um, yep we did <laughs> depends too on parts of 80s because some went baggy clothes some went a little mm-hmm. skin tight um, there's a part in the 80s where we wore leather parachute pants. <laughs> yeah. Do not recommend that costume for your fun run in, in Roswell, New Mexico <laughs> and during, no. during no, August. You, you might die all. in the 150 yeah, degree we, weather. You might get to meet our first responders if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> not to mention lose friends quickly when they catch a, oh, yeah. like, like your gaminess <laughs> as you move around in your leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> just the thing but uh but folks put it on your calendars uh mm-hmm. august 6th 8 to noon at the uh, convention and civic center there's going to be food vendors there's going to be lots of fun stuff but on top of all that excellent ed- information uh meet a lot of our healthcare partners and stuff in in this area uh even non-healthcare i mean mm-hmm. it, we always talk it's all health and wellness related but not all of it's doctors and things some of it's mm-hmm. you know uh healthy living type stuff mm-hmm. and 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 various you know because it really the health fair covers everything from mm-hmm. from your 
yes. from your Western medicine to uh, to more uh, your what you do in hospitals and everything in between. Mm-hmm. So it's all's on the table at the uh, health and health fair here. So come learn about stuff. And like you said, uh, if you want to sign up for the mammograms, you probably need to get that done mm-hmm. this week. Get yeah, that you can up. find all the information on our Facebook page. Good deal. And then, of course, you got uh, what's uh, like they'll be taking. I'm, I'm guessing. People right up to the last minute for yeah. the fun run. Oh, yeah. So you, oh, yeah. you can roll in Saturday yeah. morning, 6.30, and say, I didn't register, but I want it. You now, you might probably get a T-shirt, but you get to participate. Yeah. And, and, you may and get a small part. T-shirt. You could. You know? <laughs> you could. Maybe. Shut box that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, or just, uh, you know, turn it into a, a Habsy shirt or something. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Show people the tickets to the gun show. Give them some tickets. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. um, if anybody has any questions about or anything uh, regarding the uh, health fair, um, uh, I suggest you check out Facebook. That's probably the, mm-hmm. the quickest, easiest way. The Chavis County Health Council has a Facebook page. Uh, that's got all the information about this mm-hmm. year's health fair, any questions you may have. And, of course, you can shoot a message through that mm-hmm. uh, as well. Of course, uh, you can learn more about the fun run there, too. But I imagine if you go to the Boys and Girls Club Facebook page, they probably got a bunch of stuff yeah. on uh, on the fun run. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you type, like, Roswell Boys and Girls Club or, or Southeast New Mexico Boys and Girls, any of these will Boys get and you. Girls Club of Chavez. Yeah, and that, counties, yeah, any of these will get you in that in that area here. Then you can like and follow and, and all that. Mm-hmm. Of course, um, if, if folks, parents, want to learn more about back-to-school opportunities here with Boys and Girls Club, now's that time to be talking mm-hmm. to you as well, too. Yep. Um, re- shoot a message through the Facebook page or come by yep. the Boys and Girls Club uh, office there. What's the actual physical address that I could? I know where it's at. Two zero one South Garden Avenue. South, yeah, I would never remember the number, <laughs> but it's uh, yeah two two zero one South Garden there. Come, uh, you know, depending on the time of day you come in there, but you can get a tour and and uh, meet the staff and and see what the programs are and then learn about. Um, you know, where you're, depending on where your kid goes to school, about transportation and how yeah. all of that happens. But but uh, definitely talk to them about that, and they can give you opportunities for, um, because it's, it, what they do over at Boys and Girls Club is so great because they, they, they work with these kids from super, you know, elementary age up through high school age, and they all gain from that program. Where, where the little ones, you're, you know, it's a little bit more adult-driven things like that but as they get a little older they kind of invest in the program and create their own curriculum mm-hmm. and create you know supervised by adults of course but <laughs> but but you know they 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 kind of learn leadership skills and learn some of those mm-hmm. things that we as adults need uh, when we transition <laughs> to adults you know <laughs> they may have an adult program <laughs> yeah that's what you need i mean as well adults and yeah, men and women club <laughs> <laughs> and they teach us things we already should know <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> but uh, definitely um, research more on that. And, of course, um, I know you guys are always looking for volunteers and stuff, too. If you have, like, activities, skills, things that you want to share with the kids, they're always looking for opportunities like that. Maybe you're a, an avid I don't know, stamp collector, something like that. I mean, if you, <laughs> if you have a, a hobby that you're into and you think the kids might, you know, go reach out talk to them. And you never know. You Next thing you know, you might spend a, each once a week going out there teaching fly fishing or something. You know, you don't know. It's just they're always looking for that kind of those kind of input and community input too. Yeah. So, what's the phone number over at the at the Boys and Girls Club if anybody had any questions? I think it's five five zero five zero zero one. Okay, I believe is what it is. I it's one of those numbers where I switch them up a couple and times. So Google will help you if you can't remember. Yeah. Anything, so. <laughs> Good deal. Is there any other information we missed on Health Fair or Boys and Girls Club? Any anything? No, we right. just want people to come out. We wanted this to be a success and have a, the whole community come out. Yeah, come out and be a part. Yeah. August we'll make 6th, it worth your while. August 6th, it's a completely free event. Yeah. Sign up. Like I said, if you want to participate in the fun run or um, if you want to schedule a, a mammogram to the traveling, the, the roving mammogram uh, Whatever. Bus. <laughs> Studio is not the right word, I want to say. Uh, office, mobile office, maybe that's the better word to use. But uh, sign up now, and you'll find links uh, then again at the uh, Health Council's Facebook page. Mm-hmm. There, so, yes, Good deal. Sir. Well, thank you, guys. As always, appreciate the visit, and we'll thank see you, you next week. And, uh, yes, sir. Um, we'll see how – I love seeing the progression. They were fresh. Now they're getting a little more tired, a little more tired, oh, a little yeah. more tired. Oh. And but by, by next week it's gonna be really <laughs> trippy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, it is uh, nine.